How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shift Inn. Welcome back to Sunrider. So last time was a bit of a, is a heavy episode, let's be honest. I mean, we're talking about civil disruption, we're talking about terrorism, we're talking about civilians getting caught in the crossfire. Uh, it was all pretty just, it was good, it was good important stuff. It, it may not have been the most pleasant, but it was good. So if you haven't watched it, please, please, please go back and make sure you check it out. I am... I think I think I let out a lot of frustration that's been building up this past year. So uh, anyway, though, we're gonna move forward. Hopefully, we can find a solution to what's been going on. Uh, at the moment, it looks like we are under an imminent attack. But for now, we just have some conversations to have with some of the crew. And I think research. research yeah, I don't moment. have any money. Thank you, Captain. So we're gonna we'll go and start talking right to people in the hangar. I can't believe you actually let yourself get captured by that little runt. I, hey, she was crazy. Don't be judging, Akari. I reiterate, she was being escorted by 40 armed gunmen. We had no choice but to surrender. Pfft. The first time you told me, there were just 20 gunmen. Now there's over 40. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it, it was a chaotic situation. You can't expect me to remember every detail. You guys. Will you two ever get along? I don't know. I think that they got something something. Or, um, uh, something something. <laughs> the, the, the mercenary started it. Uh, I, I mean, sir. <laughs> huh. It's not my fault Soldier Boy got herself captured. Uh, 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 Akari. Were you the one who nearly started crying when you found out? Oh, uh oh, caught in the act. What? In fact, you then marched down to the armory, strapped more weapons on yourself than you could carry, screaming something about a rescue mission. The commander had to get had to get all six guys from security to finally pull you down. Oh, oh, that, there's their crazy eyes. Watch yourself. I, I, I have no, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my. Could it be that you actually care about Kriska? Oh, yep, she's got the lovey-dovey eyes, yep. I, I think we're onto it. Ugh. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I, I don't care about anyone. I'm Vicaria Solid, a mercenary of cold steel. In fact, you, you could say I'm just too experienced to care about relationships. They're not, not interested in that kind of stuff, because I'm not get here. Wow, she's so defensive. Girl, you want it bad. You're turning red. I I'm leaving. The, the Phoenix needs calibrations. She's always trying to act cool, and yet. I do not always try to act cool! <laughs> oh, that's a nice touch with the, the, the sideway lean. sideways lean. See what I mean? <laughs> I apologize for the mercenary's lack of respect, sir. On the other hand, she's always straight-laced about everything. That's what makes them such an interesting couple, honestly. It's like that opposites attract kind of an idea. And maybe not even opposites, though. Like, they're very similar about, like, how passionate they are, how driven they are. But, uh, they apply it to the different things. You know, Chris Kriska is all about, you know, duty and uh, the alliance and doing what's right for the greater good. And Akari is more about um, self-preservation, self-pressure, like being the best her that she could be, and not really focusing on what everyone else is doing. Pretty cool. Um, carry on, Lieutenant, with uh, whatever you're doing. And Claude, try to stay out of trouble. Aww, that, that, that's a pretty cute pose right there. Oh, she, if only she weren't so creepy. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Alright, Saga, let's talk to you. Been a while. Uh oh, Captain. Glad to see you up and about. I had, your, had me all worried there for a second. Don't worry, I wouldn't let myself get killed by the likes of Cosmos. Did she hurt you anywhere? Next time I try. I am tr uh, 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 let me try that again. Next time I tangle with her, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Just. Just a bump in the head. Nothing serious. Th that 
Scum! I'll be sure to get you back care payback, Captain. Cosette's just fighting to protect her own people. She's not as bad as you think, Asaga. It's true. She's crazy, though. Absolutely bonkers. But she's not as bad as we think. Like, she's not evil. No, 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 no. Don't listen to her propaganda, Captain. She's just an evil pirate, that's all. And we'll pound her to the ground for everyone she's hurt, including you. Huh. All right, Asaka. Thanks for the concern. But don't worry, I'm all right now. Shields gave Asaka a smile and turned to leave. She grabbed the tail of his coat. Ooh, that's... I guess not... Not, like, not grab an arm, I guess, but... Aww... Oh, speak your mind, girl. Our cigars are going to literally get us all to ourselves, which I don't mind, but I would feel terrible if she never, ever voiced her opinion. Don't do that to us again. We were all worried. I was careless. It won't happen again. Good. Aww. Well then, better get back to work and I'm my blackjack. We got another battle coming. And I'll bet money because the cassette's going to show her mug again. And this time, I'll be ready. That is Saga. She never changes. Carry on, Saga. Aww. That was very sweet of her. Uh, okay, so. Sola, and then my girl. <laughs> I'm so excited. Captain, did the stars answer any of your questions? You wish to talk? I feel like I'm talking to Seven of Nine. I know it's a reference many of you might not get, but if you are a Trekkie, Voyager, she reminds me of Seven of Nine. The Rivian Empire of your time ruled Ungress. Tell me, if it were you who were the Shar, would you give the Ingressionites independence? I. I have given such matters little thought. The Ingressionites have suffered under the hands of foreign power for millennia, but they will not be able to recover without foreign intervention. To complicate matters, we need their Ungressite to win the war. Without it, thousands of lives could be lost. Thus, we can prevent by making better arms with Ungressite. Such dilemmas came with sitting on the throne of Ryuvia, but men craved it, killed for it. But you are different, aren't you? Are you not? You were thrust onto this stage, not by choice, but by circumstance. To be emperor was to decide who lived and who died. Such power was inherited to the throne. But it was always my hope that men who sat on the Star Palace would be a fair ruler, who made decisions for the good of the Empire. Well, I guess you always hope for that. It's whether or not that's actually going to happen. Far too many emperors of my time sought riches and glory for themselves at the expense of the people, and perhaps that was why our enemy eventually, our empire eventually collapsed. The gut of the empire, huh? Whatever happens, I am sure that you will make your decision based on what is good for the galaxy. I wonder what that is. Terms like the good of the galaxy are hard to define. It could mean anything. <sighs> It's true. I am merely a peasant girl, Captain. Please do not expect too much out of me. <laughs> Thanks, Sola. I'll come back to you if I know, anytime I need advice. Hmm. He does bring up a good point, though. Like, if we actually have to determine the fate of Ongress ourselves, like, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, do you hurt some people for the benefit of the others? Or... Do you not risk that train of thought? Because inevitably, no matter how good your intestines are, intentions are, intestines, ugh, that sounds gross. But no matter how good your intentions are, if you allow yourself to just get caught up in what you perceive to be the greater good, especially when there's no definitive way to prove whether or not that's really the, the greater good, you can get caught into this cycle that inevitably leads you to self-preservation at all costs including bad things but always in the name of what you believe is right it's 
It's a mess. It's hard to genuinely be good, especially in war. Like, there's nothing good about war, so trying to be a good person in war is almost an oxymoron. Is that the right word? Oxymoron? I don't know. It's It just doesn't work. And so, if I'm gonna have to choose that, it's gonna be tough. But, right now, I'm leaning towards giving them their freedom. Because, quite honestly, I think the best way would be to give them their freedom, but offer them medicine, supplies, in, and protection, and money for their ore. You know, let them mine it how they want. Let them dictate the terms. Let them decide what they do with whatever goods we trade them. You know, give them that freedom, but trade with them. Like, can't that be a road? I don't understand why, like, there can't be an option. I guess the fear that they would choose not to trade with us, but to trade with Pact. That's probably it. It'd be... It's scary to think that they could support the enemy and not us. Especially if Cassette's working with them, but... I don't know. We'll figure that out. Moving on. Let's go have some nice, happy talking. Ah, Captain. Huh? You by yourself today? Uh, yeah, Asaka's been acting strangely lately. She'd been calibrating the blackjack more often. She even stopped playing her games and now spends all day practicing in the simulator. Mm. Uh, really? That's unusual. Could it be that Saga's finally decided to grow up? That doesn't sound like a good thing, though. Like, a saga's a saga. Hmm. <laughs> like that would ever happen. <laughs> it's good that she's been taking her duties more seriously. But I wonder if she's overdoing it. She really can't do anything in moderation. That's a saga for you. Everyone knows that there's a battle coming. We're all doing our best. Hmm. I feel like this one's gonna be different. Pac's been acting strange. In what way? They came back with a smaller force after withdrawing. A force the size wouldn't be able to conquer Ongress by itself. I'm not sure what they're after this time. Do you think Cassette's pirates have something to do with it? No doubt. The only strategy I can think of is that Pact plans to sneak past our defensive line and hit the combined fleet while it's docked. They'll try to wear us down for weeks with feints until we finally get careless and let, slip war let a ship warp past, past us. It's a waiting game they must be playing. Don't worry, Captain. We won't let anything pass. Oh, there's a saga. Hey. On another topic, a saga's right there. Uh, uh, hello, Captain. Enjoying your lunch break with Chigara? <laughs> oh, man. I was just trying to figure some things out. Oh, I wonder what's on the mini today. Yesterday was even had bul bulgogi? I think it's supposed to be bologna, but maybe a bologna-ish thing. Ugh, lines for strict re requisition sure are generous, huh? Looks like there's super spicy curry for me today, with a side of even more hot sauce. Listen up, Chigara. The key to victory in war is first conquer the spicy food. A true hero is not born until he can handle the spice. I, I see. I saw I picked up a tray of curry from the counter. And with that, I'm off. Enjoy your chat together. You're not joining us? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got more scenarios to run on the simulator. Can't let those skills get dull, you know? Who knows when Pac might attack again? Make sure you don't overexert yourself, Asaga. Thanks for the concern, Captain. But don't worry, I never run out of energy. See you guys. Enjoy yourselves. Hmm. Yeah, it's. That can't be healthy. That just can't. She's avoiding her issues. She's avoiding her emotions. Sometimes I worry about her. Don't worry, Chigara. I'll talk to her later and find out what's going on. Thank you, Captain. Alright, now that we've done all our conversing, let's get started with the next mission. Oh, and eyeball. And eyeball attacking. Ow. <laughs> Captain, we have a situation. Report. We just picked up new warp signatures. A pirate fleet has just warped on high orbit around Ongress. 
Red alert, power our weapons and prepare to launch our riders. Should have figured cassette would show our face sooner or later. Size? Hold the phone, guys. This is exactly sounds like like distraction. Like I think we're gonna fall for the very trap we think we're trying to avoid. The largest pirate fleet we've seen yet. We've never thought they could organize something this large. They must have pulled in ships from over 15 different crime rings. The Pact fleet is closing in as well. Seems they were planning for the pirates to fill their ranks. We are receiving a transmission from the Pact fleet. Put it through. It's getting grim, guys. Oh, there he is. Captain Shields. A pleasure to finally meet you. I am Vizicar B. Fortuna of the Crimson Fleet. I am here to retrieve the princess and to end your occupation of Ungress. I'm afraid the wedding's been annulled. Something about shooting the father-in-law dead during the wedding? Yeah, that was cold. Unfortunately, it appears I have no choice but to take her by force. Not so fast, Fortuna. We've already taken care of your friend. Um, what was his name? The big guy with the mustache. Uh, you're coming out with less than half the ships he did. There's no way you're going to win this. Hmm. Colin was a mere fool, a disdain to our cause. His imperial decadence made him weak-willed and cowardly. You will find my fleet to be quite different, Captain. Numbers are irrelevant where tactics are concerned. That's my line. <laughs> I am eager to finally cross cannons with the vanguard of Farpoint. Prepare yourself. That's enough of Vizicar, fabulous. Ava, put the situation on the screen. Aye, sir. We have the packed fleet approaching here. The pirate fleet approaches from the bottom. Our forces have been stretched out in a perimeter around the docks. A picker, pincer attack, huh? The packed fleet must be binding its time, binding its time, waiting for the backup to arrive. They're gonna hit a single point on our perimeter to break through and detonate the ungrass site in our docks. The Alliance fleet will merge their forces here and meet the two fleets. But even then, over half our ships won't be able to fire on the enemy fleets by the time they hit the perimeter. Our only hope is to hold the combined enemy fleet back until the remaining Alliance ships arrive. Understood, Captain. Ooh, interesting. So it's a reverse siege. This will be interesting to play. All hands, this is the Captain speaking. Assume combat station. Scramble our riders. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Remember your training? Make us proud battle stations. I love that. Okay. Issue here I'm seeing. Um. Okay. So I don't have anything I have to protect, per se. Um. Those look nasty. But nothing over here has shields. They have some shields. Huh. I don't see cassette, so obviously they have got something planned. What are those? Oh, those must be shield ships. I wonder if they can actually repair things, too. Like, uh, Chigara can. Alright. Well, let's see. I'm really worried about this, though, guys. Before I really dive into this, and I just want to let you know something. Um, I think my strategy up to this point works really well, but it may be a bit of a hindrance this time. Considering that um, everything I do is focused on getting up and close. If I ever do have to protect a target back here, I could be in some serious trouble. But, regardless, we are going to attack. Um, for my first strategy, I think I'm going to start down here and try and engage and disrupt this pirate fleet real fast. They look like they've got the heavy hitting missiles, um, but none of them have shields, which will make it so that it'll be pretty quick business, I think. Um, and then I can try and focus on these guys afterwards. Luckily, while I'm doing that, I hopefully won't have to be too mobile, and I can have Sola picking off these guys from a distance. Um, or at least wounding them. But we'll see what happens. Regardless, I'll see you in the inside. If anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to share it with you. They're hacking us! They're hacking us! Oh, fetch. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is bad. I need to take those things out quick. Fetch. Okay, so explain. Like, the things I said look kind of like Jagara. They do everything she can do, apparently. I'm sure they can heal, but they they shut down all my rockets. I think it's time 
They've shut down, like, my flak, though. They've shut down, like... Oh my gosh, this is really bad. This could be horrible. Too slow. Oh, fetch. Our hole is holding. Okay, we are back with you. The Sunrider has. That didn't go well. Fetch. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well. I know what we need to do now. Let me get back to the mission. Okay. New plan. Kill these things. Oh my gosh. They ruined me. <laughs> it was horrible. Oh, it was just awful. At your command. Yes, Captain? Anything you say. Our systems have been enhanced, Captain. Now it's my turn to help. Yes, Captain. All systems are green. Missiles are away. On target. Awaiting orders. Fire point defense guns. We have struck the enemy. Firing ordnance. Confirmed hit. Fire point defense. Firing ordnance. The attack is successful. I'm not using my uh, points to my advantage. <laughs> that was a very good. <laughs> Yes, I like what Light that was. The Sunrider is at your disposal. That's a good use of points. That's a good use of points. <laughs> when those next ones appear, I think I'm gonna do the same thing because I know I can do it twice in a turn. That's that's a brilliant way because that only cost me a uh, 1,500 points. It costs 2,000 points to do anything else super spectacular, pretty much like resurrecting a character. I like it. I don't like relying on points, but that's not a bad way to use it, I think. Luck is holding sections 32, 16, and sections 32, 16, and 2 have Stop striking! Blow it! Stop blowing holes in my ship! Commencing we have struck the enemy. There we go. There we go. So much better. So much better that time. Oh, look at all that destruction. Alright, so see, I got way more points than I spent. That's, that's perfect. Alright! Oh, that was bracing. Mission complete, Captain. The enemy force has been decimated. The Alliance fleet is steadily gaining on the enemy. Send a mission to, message to the packed flagship. This is where the twist comes in. You see, Fortuna, now you don't, now why don't you stick your tail between your legs and scurry back to New Eden? You overestimate yourself, Captain. You have quite an interesting vessel. I believe it was instrumental in winning the Battle of Farpoint, was it not? Captain, we're detecting new warp signatures! Oh, that's a big one. Assault, an assault carrier. Swift as a battle cruiser and supported by a squadron of riders like a carrier. It's based on the design of the Sunrider. Capable of both lightning strikes and long-range operations. Quite impressive, considering it was made by a single neutral rim world. It was made by our people! Now, imagine not a single prototype vessel, but an entire fleet of advanced warships built with the resources of all the worlds of the People's Alliance. Wow. Fortuna! 
This is your end for you, Captain. It's a trap! The initial pack fleet was merely a decoy, Captain. Commander Obvious, aren't you? Regroup our forces. Engage the new ships. Oh my gosh, we're going right into another battle. Fetch. What the heck are you? What? Oh my gosh. Well, let's try again. At least I get everybody this time. Sections 32, 16, and 2 have been compromised. Ambush! New enemies have joined the battle. I'm sick and tired of Same these. Gosh darn support ships. Fetch. The Sunrider awaits orders. I don't care it's taking all these points. I've stored them up. I'm using them. It's no. No all you don't. Not again! Fetch! You all suck so much! Yes, Captain. Firing order on target! Fire safe! The attack is successful! We're playing it safe. Because as long as they keep their distance, we have the upper hand. Keep bringing in stupid freaking support ships. How much more of this is there gonna be? To like, is it gonna just stop when I get all the capital ships? Cannot hold. Screw it. I'll do it again. Screw you and your freaking spawning of Issue the support riders. It's so cheap. Take them out. Yes. Yes. Oh, look. I'm gonna shove the gun barrel right up your face. Take it. Take it. On target. Oh, you're not done yet? Oh, well, I can fix that. Commencing fire. We fire lasers, the and you are dead. Heck, unless something happens, I'm gonna stay out here. Compromise. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anything else? Yeah, we're done. Just cleaning up now. The sun rider is oh look, disposal. you're right Fire here. <laughs> yeah. Nah. You're done, son. Trinity's we have struck the enemy. Do you need something, Skip? Leave my friend. Uh oh, I hit the enemy. You did. Good job. Captain. Finish her off. Oh yeah. Woo! Whew, we did it! Oh my gosh. That was ridiculous. No replays or anything, but man. I was jumping all over the place. They had so many support ships. Found out the bigger ones could just summon them. They were just summoning them every turn. Every single turn. So I had to go and jump around the battlefield and make sure I got them all. Because, like, my strategy works really well when I'm not being sabotaged. It falls apart quickly <laughs> if I get sabotaged. We sank all the ships in our area. However, the Alliance fleet is still facing substantial resistance from the enemy. Fortuna, it's over. Your new toys are gone. Sunrider, or we'll escape. Surrender, or we'll scrap your entire fleet. No, it is all a victory. What? There she is. <laughs> Did you make it at me already, Captain? Warning! New power signatures! Oh my gosh, really? What? Where? From inside the Ungress Habitat Stations. All riders, it's go time! Are you really gonna blow up your own planet? Enemy riders are flooding out of the orbital habitats. They must have been hiding inside them, them all this time. <laughs> Fortuna and the pirate fleets were just a decoys. Now the combined fleets are vulnerable as sitting ducks. Get to the situation on screen. The Alliance fleet has merged here to counter the two enemy fleets. 
Cassandra Battle Battalion of Bomber Riders approach from the orbital habitats. Time until they intercept our docks. Four minutes. Fall back. Intercept Cassette and her bombers. We're entangled with Fortuna's forces. There's no way we'll make it back in time. <laughs> this isn't looking good, guys. How disappointing, Captain. I expected more from the victor of Far Point. In one fell swoop, every Alliance ship in the combined fleet will be cast into the hellfire of the very Ogden's night that they sought to steal from Mongress. Poetic justice, is it not? A fitting end for their imperialistic ambitions in the neutral rim. Just as the Imperials before them, they will fall not to our cannon fire, but to the fruits of their own greed. For their systematic exploitation of the weak is but a cancer which will eventually consume their body, unless it is cleansed with fire. Now, Captain, behold Pack's true goal. He's got a super weapon? The eradication of the Imperialists and the birth of our new Galactic Order. Dang. The Hungerness Tates are in range. This is for you, Captain. You are always my favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh. The enemy riders have begun their attack. The combined fleet is being sunk. Catastrophic losses are being reported. Your orders, Captain. She has clenched his fists. Fortuna! A very con esque type. It is over, Captain. The Alliance fleet is lost. Your ship will be seized and the Princess returned to Arcadius. As for you, you will stand trial for your crimes against humanity. Cosmos tells me you were responsible for quite a number of civilian deaths on Ongress. Not yet. So, the Great Grey of the Emerald Fleet finally speaks. Have you come to discuss terms of surrender? You little punk. Don't you think the first command to dare raise the sword against me? But you're still young. Sit down, boy, and let me show you war. Captain, I'm detecting radi radiation charges coming from the combined fleet. I've just ordered every Alliance ship to arm their nuclear torpedoes at Ongress. Holy crap! No! These are my terms. Tell your little pirate friend to turn around and scurry back to the rat hole she crawled out of. And as for you, take your ships back to New Eden and shore up your defenses. You'll need them to escape the coming hellfire. Or else I'm dropping enough nukes on Ongress to make it glow brighter than the sun for the next millennia. You cannot be serious, Animal. Admiral, a man of the Alliance would not mass murder 40 billion civilians. 40 billion. Try me, boy. It's... So, to save yourself, you're going to become the very monsters you fight? Gah. He's buffing! We can wipe out the entire Alliance fleet here and now! You have to the count of three to withdraw your forces. One. Don't listen to him! He's too much of a coward to fire! Fortuna! Fontana! Fontana! It's Fontana. All their ships are gathered here! We'll never get another chance like this! We can end the Alliance's military supremacy in just 15 more seconds! This will be the end of the Alliance and the beginning of a new era! Two! We'll all die if it means the end of the Alliance. Independence or death! Just give us ten more seconds. We can do this! Oh, fetch. Oh, oh, my gosh! Admiral, stop this madness! Bombing 40,000 civilians is not okay. All units, hold your fire. Warp to the fallback coordinates. Cosmos, withdraw your forces. You idiot! A victory at the cost of Ongress is no victory at all, but a catastrophic defeat. We have hurt the combined fleet enough. We will reserve our forces for another opportunity. Another opportunity like this won't ever come! 
Enough. Cosmos, if you care for the plight of your people at all, you will order your ships to retreat. Ah! If you, Fontana! As for you, Captain! You'll regret ever throwing your lots with the Alliance. I think I already do. The Alliance will plant their flag on every world in the neutral rim until the entire galaxy is being sucked dry to fatten Solaris. Just you wait. You think you're winning this war, but the Alliance will stick a knife up your back one day. And then, only then, will you realize what you've done today. All units, break off and warp away to the fallback point. We've done enough for today. The enemy fleets are falling back. The plan worked. Stop all combat operations and prepare to assist the salvage and recovery. Shields fell into his chair. All enemies have warped out of the system. And our status? Substantial damage to our docks. We have uncontrollable ongress leaks at nearly 40% of the tanks. Altogether, we've lost 120 battle cruisers during the attack. That's nearly 30% of the entire fleet. That's that's critical loss. That's that most most armies or platoons will break after 30% losses. So cut their losses and retreat. This attack was grave, but we have avoided the worst of it. I will regroup our forces. More reinforcements are due from our core world soon. We are not captain. With this crisis averted, we will be able to push further into packed occupied territory as planned. I believe Sarah is not far away now, is it? No. Well then, we best get to work. News of the incident at Ungress has hit the Holonet. What's the response? Virtually every Progressive Party affiliate news source is calling it a massacre. While each news source variety great, greatly in details, 300 to 150, 150, oh, 1,500 civilian deaths are commonly or being reported. In the last opinion poll published by All Alliance News, Admiral Gray lost four points in his standings. He now controls 41% of the vote against 44% from the Progressive candidate Frandall. Meanwhile, the Progressive Party has started a new bill of the Solar Congress, calling for a withdrawal of all Alliance ships from Ungress. While it is not expected to pass, while Aletha, is, while Aletha is a lame duck president, party leaders have vowed to mount legal challenges in the Solar Court if Gray is elected to the presidency. Are you feeling alright, Captain? You suppose Cassette's right? Captain... Cassette is a madwoman and a criminal. I saw a man nearly glass an entire planet today. We can call ourselves the heroes all we want. We can argue we didn't start the war with Pact and that Pact was the aggressor. But after today, we're hardly any better than Arcadius. Captain, threatening to use force or the use of force are two very different things. A threat coupled with the ability to carry out the threat is merely a diplomatic tool. Every civilized government in the galaxy recognizes such threats as an acceptable use of diplomacy to achieve policy without bloodshed. Only the use of force is regulated by galactic law. Words are not. A very fine distinction, Ava, but history shows humanity will never appreciate that line between the two, or else the Holy Reven Empire would never have destroyed itself and cast the galaxy into a dark age. Neither of us is Alliance asked for, neither us nor the Alliance asked for this war. It was thrust upon us. What else will we be forced to do? And where will we cut the line? This is war. It's either them or us. That'll be all, Commander. Captain. I think I have to do it. I know this episode's probably going to be long, but I gotta do it. Shield sat with Chigara in his quarters for another round of tea. Did I let the crew down, Chigara? What do you mean, Captain? He outmaneuvered me. This Fontana. He's a foe dealer deadlier than anything we've encountered so far. 
He predicted every one of my moves, even before the battle began. But we got lucky this time. What will happen next time? Next time, you'll be ready. I love Shikara so much. She's like... She's the best. She's just the best. He'll have the benefit of... He had the benefit of surprise this time. He won't ever be able to do that again now. Shield fingered his teacup. Why does war turn good people into monsters? Fontana, he's a good man. And Grey is no murderer either. And yet, when the lives of those around us are in danger, we must make decisions that would ordinarily never make. Decisions to murder billions of lives? Decisions to ignore atrocities? Decisions to condemn innocent death? That's what separates leaders from followers, Captain. Whatever you decide, I know it'll be for the greater good. <sighs> That's a responsibility of a lifetime. You'll always be my hero, Captain. Hmm. I'm sorry to disappoint. You never disappoint. She's so cute. Chigar strokes Shield's arm. <sighs> No matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Chigara. Shields embraced Chigara and held her close. Mm. The scent of her hair was a sole comfort against the growing darkness in his heart. This will be over soon. Once Sarah is free once more, we'll put our weapons down. Then maybe we'll finally be able to start the bakery of yours. Aww. They're like, I, I think they're actually a couple now. <laughs> You're making me blush, Captain. <sighs> Man. How to take something so horrible and then make it so wonderful. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, tell. <gasps> you killed me. That's his sister. You killed all of us. And for that, we will have to leave for another time. I'm really nervous, guys. I have no idea what's going to happen next. It just feels like it's coming to such a strong head. Oh, I am so sorry this is a super long episode. And if I'm over-exaggerating because that combat took forever, then congratulations, we made it to the end. That was insane. Honestly, I gotta convince you. If you can, this game is free. Try it out yourself. I know we're kind of enjoying the story together, and I hope you stick around for that. But going through the scenarios yourself with your own strategies has got to be a blast. But um, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you once again, and I hope you continue to enjoy this series. Please let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts about what's going on. Specifically, what would you do in the face of somebody threatening to nuke an entire planet? I mean, that's, that's unreal. Also, leave a like if you're enjoying it. It helps me know if you're actually, like, enjoying it. <laughs> it's really good to hear back from you. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make.